Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are discussing differentiation as part of the OCR FSMQ course on the new specification. So the learning objective today is to learn about the gradient function and to find the gradient of a curve at any given point. So the gradient of a line. So you know if you've got squared paper you can basically count uh, the change in y over change in x so we've got the gradient equals the height uh, of the triangle over the length of the triangle so it's actually 8 over 2 which is 4 but remember it's going the other way so it's going to be a minus 4 this is okay for lines their gradient stays the same along the whole line but the problem comes when we deal with curves so uh, as you can see this curve has many many different gradients no matter what point you look at and uh, the ball well <laughs> goodness me the animations a little bit out there but you get the idea it was meant to uh, sort of sort of go go along the curve but never mind uh, so what happens if we had a piece of maths that meant that we could work out the gradient of this curve at any point well that is what we call differentiation. As long as you have the name of the graph, you can check, um, you can perform the piece of maths known as differentiation or taking the derivative, um, or as some people like to call it, the gradient finder. So to differentiate a piece of algebra, um, which is y equals ax to the n, so that's the name of your, of your graph or your curve, then we say dy by dx is equal to n a x to the n minus 1, where dy dx is the gradient finder. So the answer is bring the power to the front and multiply anything already there uh, and reduce the power by 1. So as you see, the n has come down to the front and is now times in the a, and we've reduced the power by 1, so it's now n minus 1. Or, you know, in... Um, layman's terms it's basically bring the power to the front not one off the power so find the gradient function of the following so we've got y equals 3x squared so what we're going to do is bring the power to the front and knock one off the power so we get 2 times 3 which is 6 and uh, x to the 2 minus 1 which is 1 and obviously uh, there's an artificial 1 there so 6x to the 1 so y equals 4x cubed, bring the power to the front, knock 1 off the power, so it's going to be uh, 12 times x squared is equal to 2y by dx. So power 3 drops to power 2, 12x to the 5, bring the power to the front, so it's going to be 60x to the 4, power 5 drops to power 4, and then uh, y equals 7x, so we're going to just get a 7 because remember there's an artificial 1 here that comes to the front times us by the 7 which is still 7 and x to the 0 uh, is actually here so there's an artificial x to the 0 here but anything to the power of 0 is just 1 so it washes away so power 1 drops to power 0 and if we have y equals 9 then remember we've got this uh, artificial x to the 0 here uh, so we bring the 0 to the front and multiply by everything and then that's just going to be 0 because anything times 0 is 0. So do, we, do y by the x there is 0. So power 0 drops to nothing. So example 1 then. What is the gradient of the curve y equals x squared plus 3x minus 5 at the point 4, 23? So first of all we start with our function and then we know uh, that we have to find dy by dx so what is dy by dx bring the power to the front knock one off the power so we do that to each of the terms so we get 2x and we get 3 and we get minus 0 which is nothing so we don't uh, worry about it so dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 3 we've been given a point uh, 4 23 so we know what x is, so we can work out what dy by dx is, and that is going to be the gradient. So we substitute in the 4, we get the gradient equals 2 times 4 plus 3, which is 11. So the gradient of that curve at the point 4, 23 is 11. Example 2 then, what is the gradient of the curve y equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9x minus 4 at the point 1, 4? So... 
we've got our function we know now that we need to find the derivative of that function so dy by the x equals bring the power to the front knock one off the power so we get 6x squared minus 6x plus 9 and then we're told the specific point that we want the gradient at so we've got 1 4 we've got the gradient finder and now we have an x coordinate of 1 so we shove a 1 through there and we get 6 times 1 minus 6 times 1 plus 9 which is 9 so the gradient is 9 uh, at the point 1 4 for this particular curve next what is the gradient of the curve y equals 10 plus 3x minus 5x squared minus x cubed at the point minus 3 minus 17. So lots of negatives in here to try and trip you up. Same as before, we work out what dy by the x is, bring the power to the front, knock 1 off the power. So we get 0 plus 3 minus 10x minus 3x squared. And then we're told a specific point to find this gradient at minus 3, minus 17. So we plug this minus 3 into dy by dx, and we get 3 minus minus 30 minus 3 times 9, which is obviously 27. So that equals 6. So the gradient of the curve at that point is 6. And that is that. That is everything you need to know with differentiation for now uh, 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 the gradient finder so you you now know how to find the gradient of any curve at any given point with that piece of maths and it is a very powerful thing it's something that goes well up in uh, university studies there's uh, something even called partial differentiation but you don't need to know anything about that uh, this is just basic differentiation and an introduction to calculus if you found this lesson helpful then make sure you leave a like down below if not then make sure you uh, let me know down in the comments what i can do to improve i know some people uh, or one particular person has, has asked for past exam questions on these uh, lessons and i think I'll, I'll pick and choose which lessons i do that for don't think it's particularly useful for this because all of the examples are, are are examinable if if you get me so uh, that is exactly what it would ask you on an exam uh, uh, paper you know that question has probably even been taken from an exam paper so um let us know what, what, what you think down in the comments below. Regardless, subscribe for more OCR FSMQ videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching. And best of luck for your FSMQ.